Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, Carla. Good evening, Jose Walter. Good evening, Alejandra. How are you today, you guys? Hello, hello. Good evening. Good I'm evening. fine. That's good, Alejandra. That's good, that's good. Hello, Carla. Hello, Walter. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Nice, that's good. Let's wait a little bit for the, uy, for the other ones, okay? Maybe they join. Vamos a esperar unos segunditos. Tal vez se une el resto, okay? Hello, Daniela. Hello, Eric. Hello, Kevin. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Uy, what did I do? Hello, Kevin. Hello, Eric. Daniela. Okay. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? So, so. Oh, my goodness, mister. What happened? Are you sick? Or it's because it's Monday? Monday, it's hard for... I'm sorry? I'm sorry, Mr. I no le escuché. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh, just give me one second. Okay. Okay, thank you everybody for being here. Uh, before I continue, um, I hope, eh, antes de continuar, este, el día, uh, welcome, a los que acaban de llegar otra vez, Candelaria, hello, good evening. Um, el día sábado, creo que fue, con una Miss, eh, podemos notar que, porque estaba haciendo la plataforma la Miss, eh, y solo quiero corroborar que todos los que están acá son de inglés principiante, porque este, la Miss, que me, que me estaba haciendo yo, porque estaba practicando la plataforma, yo estaba yo viendo la plataforma y ella también, pero al mismo tiempo, entonces, este, ella tenía otro ejercicio diferente y nos dimos cuenta que ella era de inglés intermedio, principiante, que es más adelante, ¿verdad? Solo quiero corroborar que todos los que estemos acá, estamos en inglés principiante, no intermedio, principiante, o sea, son los primeros cinco módulos, solo son inglés principiante, después va inglés eh, principiante, eh, intermedio principiante, y así van avanzando, ¿ok? Y solo para aclarar, para que, para que, sí, espero que solo estemos en este inglés principiante módulo uno. Ok, porque así van a ir avanzando. Por ejemplo, el otro eh, va a ser inglés principiante módulo 2 y así van a ir avanzando. Ok, porque creo que se han confundido porque es similar la, el número de orden, es, el, es, es similar al, al el de nosotros. Hay otro grupo que está similar nomás que es intermedio y nosotros somos inicial, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo, solo quería ir para que chequen, ¿verdad? No sé si alguien ya iba avanzado, ¿verdad? Y, y lo metieron a este grupo, ahí para que corrobore, o si pues van iniciando, estamos bien, estamos bien, somos aquí el grupo, ¿verdad? así que, ok, just want to make sure of that, solo quería aclarar eso y decirles por si hay alguien, ¿verdad? no sé, porque pues lastimosamente yo no puedo ver la lista, pero al final de la clase hay alguien que sí la ve, entonces, y pues no sabe quién es, vea, ahí van a ir aclarando también, Ojalá que puedan aclarar eso, algunos de los que están, vea. Ok, now, uh, so let's start, ok, and let's continue. We are in week number two, vamos a la semana número dos, ok. This is inglés principiante módulo one, ok. Este es inglés principiante módulo uno. Today it is Monday, June 5th, 2023. Ahora pues, ahora como ustedes saben es Monday, ok, June 5th, 2023. And we are going to continue. Okay, vamos a continuar. And, and today we are going to talk about the demonstrative these and this. Uh, and also with the questions with the verb to be. Vamos a hablar acerca de los eh, demonstrativos para decir si algo está cerca o algo está cer lejos, quiero decir, lejos o cerca. 
And also with the questions with the verb to be, y vamos a hacer una poquito de práctica con preguntas con el verbo to be. Okay, so we are going to practice a lot and we are going to learn a lot today. We are going to continue with the unit number two. Vamos a continuar con la unidad número dos. What's this? This is the agenda, super short. Esta es la agenda, super cortita. And to start, I have this practice from last class. From last class, sorry. Tengo una práctica de la clase pasada. Como ustedes recuerdan, estamos viendo los nouns. Welcome, Esmeralda. Welcome, Rebeca. Welcome, Fausto. Bienvenidos, chicos. Eh, y como ustedes recuerdan, el día viernes estábamos hablando acerca de los nombres, los nouns. Y habían dos tipos, vea. Los singular y los plural, que tenemos mucho. What happened? With the singulars. ¿Qué es lo que sucedía con los singulars? Who remembers? Tell me in English. Let's try to say it in English. Vamos a intentar decirlo en inglés. ¿Qué pasaba cuando eran only one? Cuando era solo uno. Singular. What happens? Who remembers? Nobody. Yes, Carla, tell me. Uh, you, when it's in singular, you need to add an uh, article, a or an. Excellent. Very good, Miss Carlas. Yes, we use a or an before the word, right? Antes de la palabra. Everybody, when do we use a? Cuando utilizamos la a? Before what? Before the que, de, antes de que? Consonante o vocal? Consonante. Consonants, exactly. And, and before? Vocal o vowel. Vowels, exactly. Vocales, excellent. And what about the plural? How do we know there is a plural word? Anybody that remembers the plural words? What do we add to those words? ¿Qué es lo que le agregamos a esas palabras para hacerlas plural? Remembers. <laughs> what do we need? ¿Qué es lo que hacemos? ¿Quién se recuerda? Walter Faust. Agregarle ah. la S. Yes, Miss Miranda. Yes, agree. Add S. Exactly. To the words. Very good. So we are going to practice that right now. Vamos a practicar eso ahorita mismo. Okay. So you have to choose a number and you will have a question. Van a elegir un número y ustedes me van a decir, van a tener una pregunta por ahí y me van a ayudar a responderlas. Let's start with Miss Rebecca. Rebecca, what number one you want to try, Miss? El 10. Okay, ten. Nickel. Okay, thank you. Ten. Number 10. Okay. So it says here, choose the correct answer. Dinosaur. It's a singular noun or a plural noun? Mm, it's a mm, dinosaur. Singular. singular. Why? Why it's singular, Rebecca? Mm, porque comienza con consonante. Okay, and what else? Y singular porque no tiene S, ¿verdad? solo es una, uh -huh. solo. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. exactly. Ex exactly, it's a singular. Very good, Miss Rebecca, thank you. Excellent. Let's go next one. Help me, please. Esmeralda, one number, please. Two. Two, okay. Tell me, read the word here. Bears. Ajá, uh -huh. it's a singular noun or a plural noun? Plural now. Excellent, Miss. Why? Why is plural, Miss Esmeralda? Eh, porque al final lleva S, pero no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Eh, because it ends. ends because it, it ends. ends. Ajá, es. Es. Ajá. Yeah. Exactly. Ends in S. Exactly. Birds. Ends in S. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Let's go with Kevin. What number, Kevin? Mr. Kevin. Five. Five. Okay. Oh, no. Another one, Mr. Kevin. One. Okay. Tell me, uh, this one, it's flower or flowers? Flower. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's a flowers. It's, it's flowers. 
Mm, maybe because it's true. It can be a flower too, right? It depends on the how do you see it. It depends on de how you see it, right? But yes, mister, thank you. Let's go now with Alejandra. Tell me one number, Alejandra. Um, six. Six, okay. Okay, tell me. It's a student or students? Students. Okay. Yay, very good. Thank you. Let's go with Carla. Carla, tell me one number. Um, seven. Seven, okay, perfect. Oh, tell me. Bees or B? B. Mm, that's great. Very good, Bees. Thank you. Let's go with next one. Candelaria, one number, please. Three. Three, okay. Oh, it's it girls or girl? Girls. Okay. Yay, it's girls, right? Very good. Let's go with next one. Walter, what number? Four. Four. Okay, mister. La imagen is eggs or egg? Eggs. Exactly. Perfect, mister. Thank you. Let's go with Jacqueline Daniela. One number, miss? Eleven. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Mm -hmm. Sería farmer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Good, good, miss. Thank you. Let's go. Eric. What number? Eight. Okay. Oh, no. Another number, please, mister. Nine. Okay. Ah. Oh. What's the picture? Bed. Okay. Yay. Thank you. And the last one. Fausto. What is this? House. Okay. Yay. Very good. Very good, everybody. You did an awesome job with this. That's good. Those were a little bit of practice for the singular and plural nouns from last class, right? Very good, very good, you guys. Now, let's move on. And today we are going to learn something new that is called demonstrative pronouns, okay? Or demonstrative adjectives, too. El día de hoy vamos a practicar algo que se llama demonstrative pronouns o los demonstrative adjectives que indican dónde se encuentran las cosas, si están cerca o están lejos. Y hay ciertas palabritas que se utilizan, okay? So, these are the words, okay? Estas son las palabras, okay? We have these, this, that, those. Okay. And then, wait a second. Candelaria, do you have a question, miss? Or no? No, so far now. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. So we use, um, well, we have the first one that is for here. Como pueden ver, es para decir aquí cerca, but only one. We're going to see, we're going to say this. I mean, sorry, these, these, con I, okay? And cuando tenemos más de uno, we're going to say this. Okay, so that will be, and then we have, cuando los tenemos, cuando tenemos una sola cosa lejos, we're going to say that. Y cuando tenemos varias cosas lejos, vamos a decir those. Ok, eh, recuerden que estas dos, this and this, van de cerca, eh, pues serían esos dos y cuando están lejos es uno solo, sería that, y cuando están, es varias cosas y están lejos, va a ser those. Ok, these are demonstrative, ok, son demostrativos porque demuestran si están cerca o están lejos. Then here we have uh, um, some sentences that we are going to read. Okay, aquí tengo algunos ejemplos que vamos a ir leyendo. Can you help me to read, please, Janetti? Janetti, number one. ¿Me podrías ayudar acá, Janetti? Number one. 
Okay, uh, let's say, please, Esmeralda, help me with the sentence, please. This is a sandwich. Excellent, thank you. Can you help me with the next one, please, Alejandra? Alejandra, yes. These are sandwiches. Yes. Okay, no problem, Miss Candelaria. Okay, let's go next one. Can you help me with this one, please, Eric? That is banana. Se banana? Banana. Yes, it's perfect. Okay. Okay, very good. Next one. Help me please, Fausto. Those are bananas. Excellent, thank you. Uh, okay, no problem, Janeri. Okay, let's go. Those, as you can see, como pueden ver, la oración, cómo se forman estas oraciones para decir, aquí está este sándwich, esta es una banana. So, tienes primero, siempre vas a tener el... Um, el demonstrative, después el verbo to be y después el objeto. En este caso, como el di, solo es unos, una cosa y es cerca, miren. A sandwich. This is a sandwich. Cuando son varias, como por ejemplo, those. Y de ahí tenemos, miren, el verbo to be are, porque estamos hablando de varios. Y miren, bananas va con S. Ok, let's continue. Help me to read this sentence, please, uh, José Walter. This is our books. Exactly. Thank you, mister. These are books. And let's go next one, Carla. Those are pencils. Excellent. Uh, Kevin. This is a pencil. Exactly. And the last one, help me please, Rebecca. That is a book. A book. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Here we have some more examples. Help me please read uh, Esmeralda. That is a dog. Excellent. No, the last one, Miss. Esta. No. Those are flower. Exactly. Very good. Next one, please. One more time, Eric. That, that is a dog. Excellent, thank you. Daniela? These are dogs. Excellent, thank you. Next one, please, Carla? This is a flower. Excellent. And here we have a little bit more of remembering and attention, right? Este es un poco más de repaso. Miren que singular, vea que ya sabíamos que le agregamos el a o el an antes de la palabra. Y después tenemos el objeto, vea. Y para los plurales, pues lo de la s, vea. Por ejemplo, ball, a ball sería balls. En pen, ¿cuál era el plural para pen? Pens. Exactly, pens. Uh, sandwich? What would be the plural? Uh, sandwiches. Sandwiches. Ya no le vamos a agregar a one, ¿verdad? What about kiss? Do you remember? Kisses. Exactly. Le damos ese. Country. 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 Exactly. Y dictionary? Dictionary. Exactly. Cambia porque la, la, en vez de la Y cambiaba a I, E, S para hacerlo plural. Vea. Ok. Uh, just a reminder, right? Esto es un recordatorio porque pues ya lo habíamos estudiado el día jueves, viernes le estaba diciendo, ay, no sé por qué se. My goodness. El jueves le estudiamos esto. So, yes. And now. 
Okay, so sometimes we are going to have these kind of sentences, right? Uh, bueno, cuando utilizamos los demonstrativos, pues la oración sería así, vea. This is a book, parece que dice que no veo ahorita. This is a book, exactly. Pero esto mismo puede ser así, en plural, vea. These are books. That is a pencil or doors are pencil, right? Lo contrario. Vaya, ahora aquí a la par que estaban acá estas cosas, permítame. Ok, en el ver, no problem. Ok, so lo mismo de this is a book, it can be it is a pen. Ya con el verbo to be puede ser así, vea, porque estamos hablando de un objeto, it is a pen. O para hablar de varias cosas, podemos decir they are pens. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Y si sería, I am a teacher, en plural, ¿cómo sería? I am a teacher. No, plural, varios, varios, ¿cómo sería? Uh, no. They, we are teachers, no. We are, we are, are we are, or they are teachers, yeah. exactly. Porque estamos hablando de varios, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Very good. Just to clarify, because later we are going to mix this, vamos a, a un poco a... A mezclar en unos segundos. We have a practice right now, okay? And in the practice, okay, what are you going to do? Uh, so you're going to say what is the correct word, if it is this, that, this, or those. Vamos a practicar un poco con unas oraciones. Ustedes me van a decir este, cuál es la respuesta correcta, okay? Of the sentence, okay? Let's start. This is the first picture, and we have this one. Which one do you think is the correct answer, everybody? This. This. Okay. Is my mom's new car. Okay, very good. Let's see. Yes, very good. This is my mom's new car. Thank you, Miss. Very good. Let's go with another one, everybody. What do you think is the correct answer? That. Though. Start. Okay. Uh, those that. Hmm. Mm. What do those. you think? Those. Okay. Those, mm -hmm. those start lighting the okay. sky. Okay. Those start lighting the sky. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. Yes, it's those porque están lejos y son varias. Okay. So that's why. Let's see next one. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the correct answer? Lean la oración. This is the bookcase where I keep all my books. Okay. Mm, this, this is the bookcase where I keep all my books. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's go. So the answer is, this is the bookcase where I keep all my books. Porque solo es una. Si hay varios books, right? Pero solo es una. Ay, ¿cómo le decimos? Librera, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Es solo una sola librera. Si hay varios libros, sí, pero hay una sola librera, ¿ok? Uh, let's go with next one. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so we have ladybugs always visit my garden. Yes. These ladybugs always visit my garden. Okay. What about the other ones? What do you think? Okay, this. Okay. Yay, very good, right? Porque está hablando de varios y están cerca. Excellent, excellent. Let's go next one. What do you think for this one? Dos. Dos. Okay, those. Dos birds okay. fly to the it. Ah, perfect. Very good, Candelaria, too. And thank you, Rebecca. Very good. Okay, you're doing good, you guys. Very good. What's our next one? Okay, what do you think is the same thing? Look at that. That plane. Okay, look at that plane. 
Yay, porque solo es uno, ¿verdad? Entonces, ya. Yeah. Excellent. That, exactly. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you, Candelaria. Thank you, Daneri. Okay, let's go next one. What do you think is the answer? Willow tree is about 65 years old. That willow tree is above 65. 65, 65. 60, 65. Okay, so we have Candelaria that. Jacqueline yes, says this. Uh -huh. So that. What about the rest? What do you think? That. 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 Okay. Porque está lejos. Exactly. Y es solo uno. Exactly. Yes, Miss. Thank you. Very good. That. Porque solo está lejos y solo uno. Okay. Okay. This one. What's the answer for this one? This this sentence. This is my this new pet dog. Okay. Okay, Candelaria, Janeri, very good. Yay! Excellent. That's correct. This is my new pet dog. We have next one. What do you think? Are my classmates? There's. These are my classmates. Okay. These are my classmates. Yay! Very good. Oh, excellent, excellent, Nilbert. Thank you, Yaneri. Thank you, Candelaria. That was very good. And here we have some other examples. Okay, and we have some questions. Y tenemos una pregunta por ahí que dice. Bueno, primero tenemos this is a camera. These are cameras. What is this? It's a new ring. What are these? They are earrings. Porque cuando estamos hablando de varios, para responder, vamos a utilizar they are, right? Y aquí están las contractions de it's, it is, they are. La, lo, lo normal sería they are, they are, sorry, lo, lo completo sería they are. What's, lo completo sería what's, what is, right? And this is on page 10. Eso está en la página 10, if you want to see it. And then I think we have a practice. Yes, tenemos una práctica. So we already have number one and number two. Ahí tenemos la respuesta de la número uno y la número dos. Y ahora vamos a continuar con la number three, four, five, six. Vaya, cuando hay en la number three, es plural, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cuál sería? Is or are? Are. Okay. What are backpacks? No, what are these or that? I mean, sorry, these or this? What is this? Okay. Backpack. Ajá, la respuesta sería, uy, ahí está malo, wait a second, porque son varios. Give me one second, let me correct it. Estamos hablando de R, sorry, que se me, no me se me guardó. Give me one second. Mira esta, pongo, pon. I'm sorry, wey. <laughs> Uh, mm, mm, ok, solo déjeme corregir otra, wait a second, porque estamos hablando de varios en backpacks, entonces sería this, aquí está, eso era, uy, la respuesta también creo, sí, es que yo solo vi una, no miraba a la María, siempre, ya me acordé que esa, no miraba a la María, oh my goodness, I'm blind, they are, uy, They are backpacks. That was the only one. Yes, second. Okay, so we have what are this? And the answer is they are, ahora sí, vea lo que ustedes estaban diciendo. Backpacks. They are backpacks. What about next one? What is the correct answer? What are? This or what is this? Is this. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is this? And the answer? It's. It's a watch. It's a watch. Exactly. It's a watch. Next one. What are this or what is this? Number five. What is this? What is this? 
Okay, let's see. Yes, and the answer? It, it, it is cell a cell phone. cell phone. Exactly, very good. It is a cell phone. Let's see, next one. What, uh, what are this or what is this? What do you think? What are this? What are this? Why? Porque what are this? This, sunglasses. Por qué? Por why? Tell me why. It's a plural. It's a plural. Estamos hablando un par, vea, dos ojitos, dos lentes. Exactly. What are this? And the answer is? They, they are glasses. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Okay. They are some glasses. Excellent. Okay, so this was a little bit of practice mixing the demonstrative and the verb to be. Esto era un poquito de práctica mezclando los eh, demonstrativos y eh, el verbo to be. Give me one second. I think we have an, something else. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, now, what I want you to do, okay, is that I want you to look around you. Quiero que vean a su alrededor. And I want you to write... Two sentences, okay? Quiero que escribamos dos oraciones. Two sentences, okay? About things that you have around you, okay? Acerca de cosas que tengan a su alrededor, okay? Like, for example, this is a mask because I have a mask here, <laughs> okay? This is a mask and these are pants because I have some pants over here. Wait a second. These are pants, okay? And so I want you to do two sentences like super fast right now. Okay, I am going to give you two minutes. Le puedo dos minutos para que hagamos two sentences only. Okay, just write it down in your notebook. Esto lo escriban en su cuaderno y ya se lo vamos a preguntar. Okay. Finish. Oh, no, you have one more minute, okay? One more minute. Ready? Okay, let's see. Uh, let's start with finish. Okay, Rebecca, thank you. Uh, Rebecca, tell me one number from one to five. Rebecca, dime un número from one to five. The one al five, please. Rebecca, any number, cualquier número, Rebecca. 
This is our shoes. Oh, okay. You say the sentence. Okay. These are shoes. Okay. What is the other one? This is a cell phone. Oh, very good. Thank you. Uh, mm -hmm. This is our clothes. A what? Sorry? Clothes. Clothes. Flowers? Clothes. Clothes. Ah, no sé clothes. cómo se pronuncia ropa. Clothes. 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 Vamos a escribir cómo se pronuncia, ¿ok? Clothes, porque es una palabra, a mí también, yo decía así, mis clothes, ¿ok? So, ropa, o sea, se escribe así y vamos a decir clothes, como clothes, así, clothes, ¿ok? Así se pronuncia como el segundo. Se escribe como el primero y se pronuncia así, ¿ok? Clothes. Can you, can you say it, Miss Rebeca? Close. Exactly, thank you. Rebecca, tell me one number from one to five. Dime un número from one to five, please. This is our close. No, dime un número del uno al five, del uno This al cinco. Uh -huh. Zero. No, solo dime no. un número. Un número del uno um, al cinco. Any number, cualquier número. Four. Four, okay. One, two, three, four. Alejandra. Alejandra, are you there? Yes. Okay, tell this me. Is a, mm -hmm. Excuse me. This is a t-shirt. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh, how do you say calcetines in English? Socks. Socks. Mm -hmm. uh, those are socks. Excellent, Miss. Very good. Miss, tell me one number from one to five. Two. Two. Okay. One to Eric. Eddie, tell me. Hmm, tell me the sentences that you create. Perdón. ¿Me podrías decir las oraciones, please? Eric. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a tree. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm. And, and? This a mirror. Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's go. Um, Eric, tell me one number from one to four. One. What? Que, uh, Eric, te di, Kevin, te dije, I'm sorry, mister. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, tell me. Pero bueno, era Kevin a quien le tocaba. De todos modos, ya era la suerte que él iba a pasar. Tell me, Kevin. This is a ketchup and mm -hmm. these are flo these are flowers. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. That was good, you guys. Muy bien hecho because you have understood. I love that. But for the rest that happened, uh, said the sentences, para el resto que no dijo las oraciones, like for example, Esmeralda, Walter, Carla, Janeri, Candelaria, eh, Jacqueline, quiero que envíen Fausto y en Elbert envíen las oraciones en el grupo. Ah, ok, que, que, que les estoy viendo las de Walter, por ejemplo. Thank you, Walter. Very good. Uh, these are caps, ok. Uy, sorry. No pude. Caps, porque estás hablando de, de gorras, ok. So estamos hablando de varias, ok. This is a pillow. Very good. Janeri. Bottle of water. Okay. Bottle. So, sería bottles of water. Porque estamos hablando de varios. Okay. Very good. Uh, yes. Very good. And Elver, thank you. These are windows. Very good. Uh, Jacqueline, this is a house. These are cookies. Excellent. Thank you, you guy. Thank you. Thank you. That was super good. Now, let's, uh, I'm just waiting for some of you. Solo me falta Esmeralda en WhatsApp. Esmeralda. Oh, me la vas a decir, Esmeralda. Sí. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Tell me, tell me, tell me. These are our boxes. Ah, excellent. There's our boxes. Y la A no la vamos a agregar. These are boxes. Ajá, uh -huh. perfect. These are boxes. Uh -huh. And these are chairs. Excellent. Very good. Sí. Tengamos cuidado con la A, porque yo sé que a veces se nos va a salir. A mí también se me salía. Don't worry, okay? But 
cuando estamos hablando de varios, ¿ok? Este, recuerden que eh, solo es la S, la A la vamos a dejar solo cuando es solo una sola cosita, una one thing, one thing, ¿ok? So just remember that. Now, let's move on. Vamos a continuar, ¿ok? With the second topic for today's class, con el segundo tema para la clase del día de ahora. Very good, Candelaria. Very good. Uy, no te puedo comentar. But yeah. Uh, so, verb to be. Verb to be, we have three words, right? Para el verbo to be tenemos tres palabritas. Which ones are those? ¿Cuáles eran esas, everybody? Uh -huh. Can you remember me? ¿Me podrían recordar cuáles eran esas tres palabritas? Am, um, is, are. Um, is, are. Exactly. Am, um, is, are. Very good. So, today we are going to practice, okay? El día de ahora vamos a... Uh, a practicar esto como preguntas, porque vemos las positivas y las negativas, ¿verdad? So today we are going with the questions. And with the question is super easy because we only change the position of the positive. Por la pregunta es súper fácil porque lo único que hacemos es cambiar de lugar una oración positiva. O sea, el verbo to be estaba en medio y ahora pasa al inicio. Como por ejemplo, tenemos la oración Kate is sad. Now, for the question, para la pregunta, el verbo to be pasa al inicio, entonces sería, is Kate sad? Ok. Is Kate sad? Ok. So, as you can see here, como pueden ver por acá, pues el verbo to be pasa al inicio y el sujeto pasa de segundo. Y de ahí tenemos, en este caso, el sentimiento. But what else do we express with the verb to be? ¿Qué más es lo que expresamos con el verbo to be? Do you remember? Besides feelings, aparte de sentimientos, what else do we express? Occupation. Ah, uh, occupations. What else? Place. Places, uh -huh, que estamos en algún lugar. Very good. What else, everybody? From. I'm sorry? From. Oh, the nationality. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, nationality. Very good. Profession. Exactly. Professions. Perfect. And age, muy importante, vea, age, la edad en name, nombres, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que expresamos. Uh, so, just as a reminder, solo como recordatorio, ¿verdad? que para eso utilizamos el verb to be. Ok, let's go with another example. Uy, wait, I wanted to have one of those. Un segundo, quiero borrar esto, porque vamos a ocuparlo de arriba. Ok, so here we have another sentence. And it says, eat my computer. ¿Cómo sería esta pregunta con el verbo to be? Can you help me, please? Can you try it? Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería el verbo to be al inicio que utilizaríamos? Let's see. It is it. It my computer. It is, it is my computer. It is. ¿Al revés sería? It is. It's it my computer. Exactly. Very good. Is it my computer? And we can answer. ¿Y cómo podemos responder a este tipo de pregunta cuando tengamos el is más el it? We can say yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Ajá, uh -huh. o? No. No, it isn't. It isn't. Excellent. Very good, very good. Okay, and now let's go with the, another question. Vamos con otra. What is the verb to be missing here? ¿Qué nos falta por acá? Hmm. Are, Are we, we happy, happy today? today? Oh, okay. Are, ¿verdad? Que es con el we. Are we happy today? Y miren cómo podemos responder. ¿Cómo podemos decir, everybody? Can you tell me? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. No, we aren't. Perfect. ¿Por qué sería así? Porque miren, tenemos el we. Y solo pues para decir yes y después. We are. Oh, no, we aren't. Okay. Let's go with the next one. ¿Cuál sería el verbo to be aquí que nos falta para pregunta, everybody? Is you my love? Is you. Are you my love? Are you my love? 
<ríe> Esta pregunta va a ser entre dos personas, porque como pueden ver, ¿se acuerdan de los sujetos? Vea, que hay entre dos personas, you, pero también está entre que yo me comunique con un you, montón de personas, vea. Entonces, este, en este caso, para... Es que es un amante. <ríe> no, no, no. En este caso, como tenemos en una sola persona, o sea, solo es entre dos personas, la respuesta sería, yes, I am, o oh, no, I am no, ¿verdad? Um, like, for example, yo puedo decirle a, a Esmeralda, are you a secretary, Esmeralda? Eh, secretary. No, I am not. Oh, oh very good. O vamos a ver, Carla, are you a teacher? No, I am not. Excellent. Eric, are you an engineer? No, I am not. Okay. Uh, Daniela, are you, are you, oh my goodness. What can you say? I can, a student, are you a student? Um, yes, I am. Uh, exactly, very good. <laughs> Fausto, are you a doctor? No, I am not. Okay, entonces, como pudieron ver entre dos personitas, vea, ustedes también pueden, o sea, o sea, así, like one to one, one to one. Porque pues tenemos otro tipo de respuesta. Y van a ver cuando es con el otro you, ¿verdad? Ok, next one. Huh, what's the verb to be here? Are they friends? Okay. Are they friends? Exactly. Are they friends? Y para responder, como estamos con el they, vamos a utilizar el they para responder. Entonces sería acá. Can you help me to read everybody? Yes, they yes, are. They are. Exactly. Oh, in negative? No, 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 no they, they are. are. Exactly. Vamos con la next one. Okay, con she. Mm -hmm. Entonces, how will be here? She, she is, is Hermione. Hermione. Excellent. Is she Hermione? La respuesta podría ser... Can you help me yes, to help me? Yes, she is. Or no, she is not. Or she is not. Ajá. Very good. Sí, ahí pues depende de si quieren utilizar contractado o like eh, complete. Ok. Vamos con next one. Acá. Igual este es entre uno y uno. ¿verdad? So. Are you happy? Are you happy? Exactly. Are you happy? And the answers can be we yes, start. I am. Ajá, yes, I am. O oh. in negativo. No, I am not. Ajá. No, I am not. Ajá, no, I am not. Perfect. You're very good. Let's go next one. Okay, here. Are they sad? Are they sad? Mm -hmm. And the answer? answer? Yes. Yes, they, they are. Yes, they are all. Oh, no, they are. Oh, they aren't. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's go next one. Okay, here, the first one. Aquí tenemos una al principio. ¿Cómo sería acá? Is, are, or am? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yes? Are. Are you English? Are you English? Pero de acuerdo con la bandera. Are you English? No. No, I am not. No, I am not. I'm not. Exactly. Very good. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. What's the... Is she a teacher? Is, teacher. Is she... she a teacher? Mm -hmm. Is she a teacher? Uh, de acuerdo con la imagen, is she a teacher? Yes. Yes, she is. She is. She is. Ah, ok. Porque recuerden, ¿verdad? She. It's with the verb is, right? Verb to be is. Let's go. Questions so far, you guys? Preguntas al momento. Questions, questions. Ok, let's see. Walter, 
help me, Walter. Aquí, ¿cuál es el verbo to be, Walter, for this one? Eat a book. Uh, can you read the question? ¿Podrías leer la pregunta, please? No te escucho, Walter. Can you repeat? ¿Podrías repetir? Is it a book? Excellent. Thank you. Mister, con la imagen que mira, is it a book? Yes or no? Oh, everybody. Is it a book? No, this is a not book. Exactly. No, it isn't. Exactly. Así como vamos a responder, porque en este caso, it. So in this case, the picture is saying no, right? Let's go. Next one. Help me, please. Uh, Rebecca. What is the question here? Is it a widow? A sweater. A sweater. Sweater. Mm -hmm. sweater. Sweater. Vamos a decirlo así, pero me lo voy a escribir la pronunciación. Suete. Así como decimos en español, suete. Yes. Uh, okay, so. And the answer, what do you think it is the correct answer, everybody? Yes, it is. 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 Exactly. And here we have a practice in page 11. Tenemos una práctica in page 11, okay? And we are going to do it, okay? Vamos a realizarla. So here we have, is this your umbrella? Note. I'm sorry, no. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. No, it's not. It isn't. Okay, no, it isn't, okay? Let's see. Exactly. Or no, it's not, right? Next one. What's the question? Are or is for the next are. one? Are. 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 Okay. Yes. And the yes. answer? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. This, they uh, are. They yes. are or it or is? is? Yes. yes. This, this. They are. They are. They porque are. Para, para la, acá en la pregunta estamos tratando de utilizar el demostrativo, vea. Is this. Y para la respuesta. Es they. Ajá. They or it. Or it. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Eso, eso, eso. Eso me va. Ok, let's go with the next one. Where? Y aquí dice my class. Where? Is my class. Where are my glasses? Exactly, porque estamos hablando de varios. And in the answer, oh, we have another question. Are these or this? What do you think? This. Exactly. Are this your glasses? No, they. No, they aren't. Aren't, or they are not, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, are or is they? What do you think is Are it? they? Uh -huh. Are they in your pocket? Yes. ¿Cuál sería ahí el sujeto? It? They are. Or they, they are. are. Uh -huh. Very good. This practice is a little bit confusing. I'm sorry, because it's a little bit confusing. But it's in the manual, so we have to do some of them, okay? Vamos a hacer algunos de los que están en el manual por, porque they are very important too. Where is or where are? Are. Your. Exactly. Where are your sunglasses? In? They. Okay. They are on the table. the table. Exactly. Very good. No. They aren't. Exactly. They are not my sunglasses. You are right. My sunglasses. Uh huh. Here. Are or is? Are in my purse. Exactly. Porque estamos hablando de varios, ¿verdad? Classes. It's a it's a pair, right? Because 
todos, ¿verdad? Como les decía. Number four. Is or is, are this? Is this my pen? Uh -huh. Is this my pen? Now, next one. No. Isn't. No, it is. Exactly. It isn't or it is not, right? It's my pen. Sorry. Hmm. This. This uh -huh. is my pen. Uh, this I think it's incorrect. Esta creo que sí está incorrecta porque tiene doble verb to be. So I think in here it was where. Creo que acá era donde. Where. Where is my pen? Sí, ahí es where is my pen. And ahora sí, lo que estaban diciendo ustedes. It is on my on your desk. Uh -huh. Oh, you're right. And again, para decir estaba está en el en el pupitre sería it is on my desk. This was a little bit of confusing, I know, but wait, I think we have a practice time. Yeah, we are going to do a little bit of practice. Don't worry, our practice because that one is a little bit of tricky. Give me one second, un segundo. And so these are questions, okay? Wait. This is a little bit of a review before we finish the class. So we have the first one. You are my friend. What will be the question for that one, Mr. Fausto? Can you help me? Uh, what is the correct order? What's the real... are, you, are you my friend? Okay. Are you my friend? Thank you. Let's go next one. Help me, please, Alejandra. Okay, Walter, help me, please, with this one. Is she mm -hmm. sad? Exactly. Thank you. Number three, help me, Daniela. Daniela. Is uh -huh. my cat uh -huh. black? Excellent. Yeah, very good. Next one. Help me, please, Esmeralda. Is mm -hmm. mom in the kit? Kitchen. 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 Exactly. Uh -huh. Kitchen. Excellent. Thank you, Miss. Next one. Help me, please. Kevin. Is that in the car? Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Next one. Help me, please. Car Carla. Is grandma sleeping? Mm -hmm. Very good. Next one, uh, help me please, Rebecca. Um, I seven. Exactly. Ese, ah, esta no, no, no salía ahí en los ejemplos. Vaya, aquí, en el caso de que sea, am I happy? Es como que tú estás corroborando con otra persona. Tengo siete años en este caso. Tengo siete años o oh, estoy feliz. Tú me miras feliz, es como corroborando. ¿verdad? Am I happy? Am I seven? ¿Y cómo te van a responder? Yes. Eh, you. You are o oh, no. You aren't. I'm sorry. No. Ay, no sé por qué se me va eso. You are not. ¿Ok? Porque es como que corroboras información. Next one. Let's go, please. Help me, Eric. Are, uh -huh. are you tired? tired? Tired. Exactly. Thank you. Okay, let's see how it went. Vamos a ver cómo nos fue. Let's go with the check-in. Very good, everybody. We did an excellent job. This was a little bit of practice for the questions, but don't worry because tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic, okay? And so, but so far we are going to stay there. Hasta el momento nos vamos a quedar por ahí. 
Eh, mañana vamos a continuar con él. Um, so, with, with the to be questions, con las preguntas, con el verbo to be. And remember, please practice with the platform. Espero todos vayan ahí practicando con la plataforma. No nos han mandado, no sé si les mandaron mensaje en privado, porque en el grupo pues no mandaron, no sé si aparte les mandaron o no, no recibieron ninguno. El día viernes. Ok, entonces eso significa que vamos al día con la plataforma. Si no nos mandan mensajes, porque vamos al día. Espero que todo, everybody is going with the, the date, ok. Pero espero que todos vayan al día. Esta semana nos toca section 3, sección 3, y también nos toca el midterm, el examen de, eh, ¿qué sería? De, oh, I forgot how to say it in Spanish, midterm como el trimestral, digámosle. <laughs> ok, así es que tratemos de realizarlo. And always, if you have any question, y siempre que tengan alguna duda o pregunta, recuerda que me pueden escribir, y ahí estoy atenta a, a, a apoyarles, ¿verdad? And so questions, right now it's a time. Preguntas, dudas, questions. ¿El questions. examen siempre se va a hacer en la plataforma? Yes, sí, la, el examen oh, se hace okay. en la plataforma, no se hace cuando yo les diga, sino que ustedes a, a su ritmo. Esa plataforma es a su ritmo, sí. Ok, uh -huh. ok, yeah. gracias. No problem. Any other uh, questions? Uh -huh. I had a question. Tell me, miss. La vez pasada usted dijo que nos iba a mandar el cuadernillo. No se los envié. No sé si yo no he visto o no sé, pero sí no lo envió. Sí, lo envió. Sí, lo envió. Te voy a volver a reenviar. O sea, <ríe> yo le... no lo vi. Sí, mi, pero lo envié. Este, aquí uh -huh. va una vez más. Porque, ah. porque si no está ahí, yo le preguntaba si estaba en la plataforma también, ¿verdad que sí? Sí, también está en la plataforma, pero ahorita lo acabo de volver a reenviar, mis. Este. Uh -huh. eh... okay. Sí, en la plataforma igual está, solo que les decía que había que darle clic en un guioncito hacia abajo. Y eh, sí, ¿verdad? Ahí ya, eso lo, lo volví a enviar, mí, no hay problema. Um, and ya. Yeah. No sé, ¿alguna otra duda o pregunta? Ok, if you are not more quest, they are not more questions. We are going to stay here. Sí, nos vamos a quedar por acá and we are going to continue tomorrow. Vamos a continuar mañana. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. See you good night, tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care, be safe. Alejandra, you're going to say something, but I'll hear, I'll hear, I don't know. Bye.